What's up everybody? I'm doing this video uh, to try to help people out when it comes to picking a battery charger. I think uh, people really don't know what they need as far as a battery charger for an automotive battery. So here I've got uh, basically got three battery chargers and three battery tenders. I'm going to go through all of them and kind of go down the list of what the different features and benefits are, what you may need, what you may not need. Kind of give you a better idea of how the chargers work and what would actually work best for your particular application. All right, so let's get to it. All right, first up we got this Black & Decker battery maintainer. It's a pretty nice little unit. It's pretty compact, pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, you've basically got a switch on here for you to choose between 12 volt and 6 volt. So depending on your application, you're going to have to pick 12 or 6 volt. Uh, it's basically just got a little light that indicates that it's charging. Uh, there's also a reverse polarity protection. If you were to hook up the leads incorrectly, that light's going to flash and let you know that you hooked it up incorrectly. Basically, you're gonna put it on the battery, you know, make all your connections first, and plug it into the wall, and that light is gonna start blinking. Uh, the blinking light indicates that it's charging, and when it's fully charged, the light will stop blinking. It'll just constantly glow green. Uh, this particular unit is 1.2 amps, and it does float. So it is a true maintainer. It's gonna float your voltage out and keep your battery nice and healthy. And pretty much all these maintainers, I'm only going to show this once, but they're all going to come with several different connectors. So you can see you've got little eye loops that you would directly attach to the battery. And that would connect onto the maintainer. You've got your cigarette lighter, 12 volt power source. Uh, it's probably the least used, but I guess for some people it works. Uh, with this kind of connection, you want to be careful that your vehicle, you have to check whether it's key on hot or not. Uh, for example, uh, the cigarette lighter in my Mustang, it's key off hot. It's hot all the time. So I can open the, the door to that car, plug this charger in, and just plug the charger in and charge it. I don't have to do anything. Now, other vehicles like my Escort, 12 volt power source is not hot with the key off which means the only way I'd be able to charge a vehicle with this plug would be to plug it in and actually turn the vehicle to the on position which to me is kind of counterproductive because you're trying to charge a battery and you just brought the entire electronic system online so to me this is this kind of plug isn't really that useful but like I said some people they have use for it and then your standard kind of connection is going to be these clamps. Probably the quickest and easiest, probably the most common. Works out really good on cars. But I would say uh, the two clamps you're going to use the most are going to be these or the eyelets. The eyelets are nice, it's a real quick connection. You know, you install it once and you're ready to go anytime you want to plug that maintainer in. Like I said, pretty much any of these maintainers are going to have all those options. All right, next up we got this Schumacher Speed Charger. It is a maintainer. It is 1.5 amps. And it's basically completely automatic, which means that you do not have to flip a switch between 6 or 12 volt applications. It automatically senses whether you have a 6 volt or a 12 volt battery. And it will automatically adjust for that scenario. I really like this charger. It works out pretty good. Um, I think the nicest thing about it are the LED lights. Uh, previous models didn't go this far with the lights. Gives you a little more information than you normally would have. But all in all, this one works out pretty good. And this particular model actually has a desulfation mode which is really nice as well. So pretty much the same as a Black & Decker, 
a um, little higher amperage, but the difference between 1.2 and 1.5 is pretty irrelevant in my opinion. So once again, this one's nice because it's basically fully automatic. It's, uh, it's nice to not have to flip a bunch of switches and something that might have accidentally got switched incorrectly. So definitely like that. All right, the next one we got here is uh, another Schumacher. This is what would be considered an onboard battery maintainer. And uh, this unit's really nice. Uh, it comes with mounting brackets, and basically what you do with this unit is you actually mount it to the vehicle. So you're just gonna permanently mount it in the engine compartment. It's got these little eye loops to attach to the battery. And then what's really nice is it's just got your standard plug to plug it into the wall. So all you have to do is uh, run an extension cord out to the vehicle and plug it in. It's ready to go. Probably the best thing about this unit is the fact that it's on board. It simplifies the battery maintenance process. And it's really an excellent choice for someone who's not that technically savvy. I mean, pretty much anyone knows how to plug a extension cord in so if that's the application you know you're looking to put a battery tender on someone's car and they're not exactly savvy with hooking up battery chargers this is like the best way to go all they have to do is plug it in unplug it when they're ready to go it's real quick and easy